The Caterpillar 972K is a medium-sized wheel loader weighing in at 26 tonnes. This model of it by Tonkin was delivered in a plain outer shipping carton and that provides some useful extra protection to the box. Here we demonstrate a realistic end on site delivery method. The box is a fairly standard design for Caterpillar models and like other 1-50 to Tonkin scale models if you open up one end of the box there's a card included inside. It's got a good photo of the real machine and on the other side there's a few technical details about it. On with getting the model out and it's contained within a one piece plastic former and although it's a bit sticky in the box give it a good tug and you're able to pull it out. There's no information about the model and there's no assembly to do either because this model is complete out of the box. Looking underneath the tyres are good as is the rear axle and the front axle has a foreshortened drive shaft. The wheel hubs are quite detailed on the outside with the wheel nuts visible. At the back the exhaust pipe doesn't have a proper hole but the rest of the detailing at the rear end looks quite good. The 972 is optically very similar to the 966 but the larger counterweight allows an increased bucket size. At the back the grille is painted indentations rather than holes but the graphics are nice and sharp. The handrails outside the cab are thin metal, but the grab rails around the roof are plastic. Inside the detail is simple, but there is a cat logo on the back of the seat. There are no hydraulic hoses at the pivot point, but the graphics certainly add detail. The loader arm hydraulics have got some good detail, but the two large rivets on the loader arm do stand out a bit. The big metal bucket is a decent casting with wear plate detailing. Out we go into the Cranes Etc quarry where we find the 972 being nudged along nicely. The rear wheels are joined onto a common axle and it spins freely and it's also got a good range of up and down movement. The front axle also spins freely and it's fixed in position. The steering across the pivot point was quite stiff on the review model but that allows it to easily hold a pose and as the steering angle is good the model steers effectively. In case you're wondering why the rear axle has up and down movement, it's because that system allows each of the wheels to remain grounded as it travels along over rough terrain. And here you see one poor little rock being ruthlessly tortured in the Cranes Etc quarry. In terms of the bucket, it can be set at a good cut angle, but maybe the carry angle is just a little bit too shallow. As for raising the bucket, the mechanics are pretty good. It goes up to quite a reasonable height and the hydraulics are stiff enough to hold the pose. The bucket will also tip, but maybe again the angle is a little bit shallow. For the genuine imitation real life test, let's try loading a high sided east dump truck. The bucket gets high enough and the tipping angle is good enough to get rid of all of its load. Once again, a Cranes Etc operator demonstrates unparalleled skills. There is another worthwhile feature on the model and that is that the bucket is removable. It's held in place by a single long pin and it's quite stiff so you have to push it out with a screwdriver. Although that does mean you'll scratch the paint off the end of the pin. With the pin out you can detach the bucket, it's hooked on. And because of paint thicknesses and so on it might be a little bit stiff to get it off the first time. The removable bucket gives the possibility of different buckets or other tools in the future. And it also allows the machine to be transported without the bucket attached. So here a big Rogers low loader has carefully pulled up alongside. And then a pair of giant and dare I say completely unrealistic hands put the 972 onto the low loader. And while we're at it we can also stick the bucket on the back. And rather than losing the steel pin underneath the chair we can stick that in the bucket. This is another decent Caterpillar wheel loader from Tonkin. It's very similar to the 966 model with generally good details and features. It poses well with other models so if you're interested in Caterpillar wheel loaders then it's highly recommended. Yeah.